Hi YouTube world, welcome back to my channel. I was having such a uh, day at work, just lots of work, lots of like just frustrating conversations. You know how that kind of day goes. And I was like, today I need to sit and play with makeup. And then Sephora goes and does right by me and actually delivers my package like three days early. So I wanted to share what I purchased at the Sephora sale. I really only purchased five items and three of which are fun items for me because they're lip items. The other two items are skincare items that are more of a necessity and the value during the sale was so great. So let me start with the boring stuff. First item is this one here. This is the, this was one of the Dennis Gross kits. It's the Holiday Peel Vault, but it contains a ton of the extra strength wipes. And I have received quite a few of, of this product, like through free gifts or um, other samples. And I have been immensely impressed with how beautiful your skin looks after using this just one time, like one of the one of the two dose wipes. Let me see if I have one. Here is one of the like dual wipes. So you use this first and then this second. And it's just an extra strength hydrating peel. And I just think it really works. The first step is, uh, exfoliates and smooths, and the second is an anti-aging neutralizer. And I just, after I use one of these, I feel like my skin looks like I went to get a professional facial, and it's all with these wipes. Um, I don't know how it does it, it's pretty magical. And I feel like for the value of this product, I know it says like to do it daily some in some of the peels, but for me, I would feel comfortable just using this like once or twice a week at most. And I think I would have amazing results. So I got this. I think this is a great value, great product. The second skincare item I got is this one here, which I just think the packaging is gorgeous. So talk about here. This is like extra level packaging as a gift. This makes a beautiful, beautiful gift. This is by Drunk Elephant. They have quite a few of these kits where they included a full size kind of holy grail product and then a lot of other travel samples at the price of essentially the full priced item. So you're really getting a benefit plus you're getting the 20% off. So this here is the brightening routine this one here i'm gonna go ahead and open it because i'm super curious to see what this little egg thing looks like this one comes with a full size uh c firma which is what i wanted that's the product of drunk elephants along with the b hydra that i use up i'm willing to pay full price for those products so that you put them on sale for me once a year perfectly fine i'll pick up one or two okay hello this is gorgeous so i just took that little egg out and it is gorgeous and it's it's this metallic tin with this beautiful artwork oh my goodness and you open it up and look how nice. This is like such a beautiful presentation. <gasps> oh, I'm so excited. Um, another thing I love is that now with the C Firma, they are containing, like they separate out the active ingredients. So only when you are absolutely ready to start a bottle where they mix it. I love that because sometimes if you, like with products like this, you can't really like hoard a bunch of them just cause you got them on sale because they start aging even just from when they were produced and so they found a way around that with that so i think that's great and this is a really pretty generous size of the proteiny cream so much larger than some of the other sample sizes and it comes with the c tango um, this is their eye cream i'm so so about it it's it's fine and the b hydra which i love I love so having another mini so I think this is beautiful and this presentation is gorgeous I am completely looking forward to 
you know, filling this with some other goodies. So I can't, I can't wait. I can't wait. This sort of motivates me to look at some of the other kits. Oh, well, um, I might do that. I got a Fenty gloss and two Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. Um, this one I have wanted for years and years and years. This is very Victoria in her Matte Revolution formula. And then this one just came out. This was from a recent collection, a special collection. This is Wedding Bells. So maybe I'm going to start with my most like coveted one. Well, as I said, very Victoria I wanted forever. So that is this one here. And of course it has that lovely soft scent. And I already tried this color. And I'm really surprised as to the color it actually is on me. So that is this color there. It's sort of the exact color of my lips. I mean, it is really like the exact color of my lips. It feels wonderful, like all her lipsticks do, but I don't know. It's kind of expensive to get the exact color of my lips, but another lipstick that's near identical to it is a CoverGirl lipstick, which I will show you right now. So I wipe off half of it and you could see it's, it's, I mean, as soon as this redness goes away from my wiping, this is essentially my lip color. Um, this is trending from CoverGirl's Demi Matte formula, which is very, very similar to the Matte Revolution formula of Charlotte Tilbury. Hmm. I think these are very, very similar. So I'm happy to have it. It's something I've wanted, like I said, for a very long time, but just a little disappointed it's not more special. I thought it was gonna be really special. Next up is Wedding Bells by Charlotte Tilbury. Now this packaging is extraordinary. This is like a special packaging and it has all these beautiful little rhinestones throughout that are embedded so they don't stick out and they're uncomfortable to use. It's a smooth packaging. It's beautiful. Really, really beautiful. And what I love about this special packaging is um, these lipsticks are refillable so you can pop them out and you can continue to use that beautiful um, lipstick container, which I think is always really thoughtful. So this one's a pretty uh, deeper rose. So that is Wedding Bells. I really think Wedding Bells is really pretty. I think it brightens up my face. Um, it's definitely like I'm wearing lipstick, but it's not intimidating. And I like this color. I don't have this color in Charlotte's formula, so, or anything really similar to this. It's much deeper and rosier than like a pillow talk or anything like that. So that is this color here. Happy to have it. I think it's a really pretty, pretty feminine color. Next up is the one that I was really, really excited about. This one here is from Fenty. It is the Pro Kisser Luscious Lip Balm. If you don't know this, because this is your first time visiting me, I feel like I am a connoisseur of hydrating lip balms and I am picky as all heck. And I had this other Pro Kisser lip balm in Pinch Me from Fenty. And I have been wearing it and it is such a beautiful, luxurious lip gloss balm hybrid. And I'm not actually the biggest fan of the gloss balms. I think they're too thick. Um, it's just not what I really like to have on all the time. I do like the glossy effect though, but I just think it's just a too thick of a formula. This one on the other hand is not a thick formula. It is so lovely. It has a nice scent and I got mine in Cocoa Drizzle, which is this beautiful brownie gloss. 
and that is Coco Drizzle. So this is still like a nude, it's still high gloss, but it doesn't have the same level of thickness as the Fenty Gloss Balm, and still gives me that kind of juicy effect, but yet more along my kind of hydrating lip balm feel. And these last pretty nicely and I love to just reapply them. So I'm happy to have another color in my collection. Pinch Me is a really pretty uh, nudie pink too. So I would recommend these over even the very popular gloss balm. But that's really all I got. I got three lippies. I got two skincare items. I'm really happy. I try to be very conscientious about what I pick up at the Sephora sale and make sure it's something I'm going, I've either, the, I've either been coveting and I'm going to just treat myself. That's kind of what the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks feel like to me. Something I know I'm going to love and use that's more like the Fenty uh, lip balm for me and, um, or something like utilitarian. Skincare to me is utilitarian and I am definitely going to use every single one of those wipes of the Dennis Gross um, alpha beta peel product and I know I'm gonna fly through the drunk elephant product as well so that's what I got I wonder what did you get what are you looking forward to I hope that you guys um, were smart about doing your shopping in the sale or maybe you're on a no buy and you put it all off I don't I don't blame you I don't feel like the Sephora sale has the power it used to have. Unless they have really exclusive products to Sephora, I find that if you just wait for a friends and family sale on any site that you really love, let's say that brand, they have better deals than Sephora. All brands do. You know, all brands want you to shop directly from their site. So they're willing to give better discounts and everything during friends and family sales. So a brand fan, of whoever get on their list so that's my two cents um i hope everyone is having a great week and uh we'll talk soon take care bye